Okay, so Angie, great song, classic acoustic introduction here. That's actually really, really tricky to play. When they recorded it, they probably had 25 takes on the intro, and this is the one they kept, and I'm sure they're all a bit different. But like I say in a lot of my videos, if you've been listening to this song for 40 years, you're going to want to play it like the record, right? You're going to want to nail it. So I've done my best to pick it off as best as I can. Okay? So the intro is just a single guitar comes in the left channel it's got a little bit of delay in the right channel it starts like this it's just a, a harmonic and a12 okay and then we do an a minor chord and that's just a, a downstroke okay so and then we're going to upstroke on the e and b strings okay so and we're going to downstroke on the b and e string Okay, so that's your first bit. And then we're going to hit the D string. And then we're going to downstroke on the B and E strings with our little finger here on E3. Okay, give you that G note. So, so far we've got... Okay. And then we're going to just pick out notes of the chords. Um, okay, so that's just the G string, the B string, twice on the D string. Okay, so I'm going to leave the harmonic out of it for now. We'll just go from here. So. Okay. So we'll do it once again real slow. Okay, and then we're going to come into this E7 chord, but we're going to play it here like this, okay? And this is, it's kind of the money chord in this song, right? That's kind of what gives it its sound, just that voicing there, okay? Because you're getting the B in there. Most times we're going to play an E7 like this. And you get the B in there, okay, but you also get the D, that D note when you're playing it this way, but when you play it this way, you don't get the D note, where well, you got it there, but it's an octave lower. Or you can play it that way, and that's close, but that's the Angie version, right, okay. So um, from here, open E. And then all you got to do to get that chord is take your A minor, slide it up two frets, take your middle finger off, okay? Okay, so you, it's, you don't have to do any crazy thinking, just slide it up, take your middle finger off, so. Okay, then we're going to do this. Just an arpeggio, B string, D string, open E. And then go back on it, right? So forward and back. And then we're going to fret here on E4. And what it, that is, is it's the third, the third of the A, right? So it's, it's an inverted E chord, right? E7 chord. Instead of having an E in the bass, I put the third in the bass. So we go here. And then we're downstroke on that uh, on E4. Okay, that's the G sharp. So so far. And then we're gonna downstroke from the G string and play the last three strings, right? So. And then we're gonna upstroke. Okay. And that's kind of the end of that phrase. So from that open E, it's... Okay. And then we go into the G. Okay. But before we, I carry on here, there's some stuff going on that's barely audible in that section. Right. There's a little, there's a little muted note followed by an open G string.
but it's barely audible, okay? And when I play it, I just don't include that because it just, it's really not worth the effort of kind of putting that into the song because you don't even really hear it. And I honestly think that it's just a, uh, was just a function of him changing chords or going from, you know, it's just, just like a, a ghost notes of him changing from here to the G. Okay, so I didn't didn't bother including that. But if you want to do it, do it, right? If you want to be completely authentic. Okay, so from this, then we've got the G, okay? It's like a G bar chord, like that, but only this part of it. And we're gonna put that suspended fourth in there, okay? Okay, so we're gonna put a little finger here on G5. just hit the G uh, the the D string the G note there and then we just go can we just go up and back down okay dead easy that part okay now we're gonna move that whole thing now if you're looking at this finger you're going well if I'm fretting that here why do I need that here you don't you could do it like that but I just like to keep that on there because when we come down to this part, we're going to need that, okay? So it just is less movement, less things to think about. Just fret it like that, add your little finger, right? Okay, and then we're going to come down two frets. And we're just going to go little finger on, little finger off, okay? So... That's like an F suspended, right? Okay, and then we're gonna go. Okay, so it's just E string, B string, D string, G string. Back to the E string. Okay. okay, so we're going to go from this, we're going to shift to here, which is um, A3 and D3, it's like that C suspended, right? And you can just put your finger on there, middle finger on there, because it won't matter. Just like the F or the G suspended, you can do it like that or like that, it doesn't matter because that note's being fretted by another finger, same here. Right, that F note's being fretted by a little finger, so it kind of defeats that one. But you're going to use it right after anyway, so you can keep it on there, right? Or not. I On this particular one, for some reason, it just feels better to me not to have it on. So I go. Okay, and so what we're doing there is. And then we're C. Right, C, F. And then we're going to go. We're going to play C here and the open G. And we're going to backstroke that. So we're playing both notes, right? So downstroke, downstroke. And upstroke on that C and G. And then we're going to downstroke on, on C with our middle finger here. So we're taking our little finger off, right? So we're going to go... your little finger off, put your middle finger on, right? So from there, right? That, now that's a good little section to break apart and just practice that. Okay, now some guys will go, just play the single note. Some guys will play the single G note. They both sound fine. But I can hear both of them in there. Right? And it sounds really cool. And then, of course, your bass note is just staying the same. And you're just downstroking on the D and G strings, right? Okay, so from this G...
really, really nice guitar playing there. You know, really intelligent and very melodic and just beautiful, you know? Okay, so now from there, we're gonna, we're gonna descend down, so. Gonna hit the high E. And then we're gonna drop our, our uh, finger from the C to the B. We're going to play the A string, open D, and the B string. Right? And then open G, and then A minor. That's where the singing starts. Really tough to go get through this, because there's a lot of specifics. Unlike a lot of stone stuff, this is a really specific. Okay, so take it from this G. It will do real slow. A and G. Right, and that's where the singing starts. Okay, do it one more time from there, but like a little faster. Okay, and then there's a little upstroke on that. And the feel on that is like... Okay, although a lot of it's inferred, you know, especially that last bit. It's just sort of there. You know, it's very uh, feel playing, right? And then he's, you know, Angie, and then we're going to do this leg. Okay, so we're just up here on uh, E5 and B5, and back down to E3 and B3, and then a single G5, and, and we want to, you know, we don't want to go, we don't want those ringing, okay? And we want to take those off, right, the, the B and the E string. And just let that C note ring on its own, okay? All right. And then we're going to come down to this open E. Okay. I'll just play it. Okay. So from here, open E. And then just consecutive G string, B string, E string. Upstroke on the B string again, and then downstroke on all three, and then an upstroke on on uh, on the on all three again, but just focusing on the last two, and just finishing off on that note, right? So. a lot of really subtle things going on here and you know uh, it depends how perfect you want to get it you could get away with just you know just strumming away right but I've tried to get exactly what he's doing here so whether or not you want to do it when you play it who knows but this is what's happening on the record as far as I can tell okay so here Okay, then we're back to the G. And just suspended, right? Right? So it's that C first that leads into. And we get that open G, right? Right? So that timing is. We're gonna hammer on that E note there. And then we're just drop the C down to the B. Then open G and then just a single A note. Okay, and then 
when the second verse starts. And we're back to this. But this part's now different. So he goes open E. And then those three strings, right? And it's just the rhythm is boom. upstroke on that open E, it's kind of those last two strings landing on that B note on G4. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just do an arpeggio. Okay, so it's just coming back and going forward. Ending on that note. B3. And then we're going to be here. Okay, back to that, which we already know. So. And instead of going. Instead of having that, that rhythm, we just play it straight. Okay, so. Okay, and that's basically the intro. All right, so let's just play that whole intro at a kind of a slower pace. And then we go into the next section. And the chords are the G, D minor, A minor, and C, F, and G. And that's just kind of a strumming thing. With the second guitar that I brought in the demo, right, that comes in on the right channel there and just strums those chords. And while the main guitar does this sort of cool lick, so the lick starts like this. That's the first part of it. It's just it's like a G, right? So you got the open G. It's like that. But you're just gonna do it this way and add this lick. He's going. Just here on uh, E5 up to E7. And we're just strumming those last three strings. Then we're going to go to the D minor. And we're going to kind of match that strumming with the first bit. So the strumming there is. And then we do the same strumming on these chords D minor. Right? To A minor. So the, the pattern, the rhythm pattern with your right hand is the same there. to C, F, and then we go to G here, right, and that's just, okay, and this, you know, again, this is very subtle, um, a lot of guys just aren't going to do that, they're just going to play the chords, right? And 
this is the cool thing about the Stone stuff, right? You know, you've got Keith playing guitar, and in the old days it was Mick Taylor, or now it's Ronnie, you know. And they, because they're different guitar players, they got a different touch. So they just put them in different spots in the mix, and they just kind of do their thing. And uh, the mix of the two, uh, even though they're playing the same thing a lot of times, is going to be just, that's the sort of, the sound the Stones have, right? Sort of their secret mix, you know? <laughs> But definitely in that first part, you can hear uh, Keith doing that. Okay, and then of course, throughout the rest of the song, they're just kind of doing their thing. You know, they're just strumming the chords their own unique way. And I'm not going to get into every single machination of these chords because that would kind of defeat the purpose of what the Stones are all about, you know. But the first you know, the intro and the first verse-ish kind of thing. Um, it's good to kind of get that down, I think. So, anyways, we're, we, we're coming out of that. And then that part coming out of there... I'll just play it one time. Okay, so what he's doing with that lick there, he's doubling it up, right? Whereas the first time he'll go... Right? This time he's going to go and he ends it with that kind of kinky little little bend on B flat there on the uh, G3. Back up to the C note on G5. And then open E and then just those three strings G, B and E and just hold that right. And he does that really slinky little. Alright, so we just drop that down to a fret. And put it back up there. Okay, really cool leg. Love that leg. Okay, then we're into this. Which you already know. Okay, so coming out of that last G bit. The other guitar player is going. He's adding that, that G note on the A minor and with that rhythm. And then he goes to E7. So it's like. goes he puts those, those little grace notes in there to go to the G, to get up to the G and then we, we put that ending which is uh, pretty well standard every time right that's the end of the first sort of intro first first chorus right and then it's just a, a whole bunch of repetitions throwing in whatever you want basically you know just kind of jamming on those chord changes so the only other part is is at the end uh, and it's just it's just going back and forth from D minor to A minor up to the C
okay and that's it that's the song there's a lot to this and it'll take you a while to get all these specifics down it's a classic song it's fun to play and it sounds really nice too you know like uh, Keith really knows his way around an acoustic he knows exactly you know the right little the right little things to do to just make it stand out and sound really clean and really really cool sounding Anyways, hope you get something out of this. Hope you enjoy playing the song, and we'll talk to you next time.